Can you tell us more about the situation in Moria right now? Annalise, the situation remains extremely difficult. The camp behind me, Moria, can host up to 3,000, max 3,200 refugees. But right now, around 9,000 refugees and migrants live inside Moria and around Moria. And I think we should not talk about one camp anymore. You have the official camp, Moria, and the unofficial, because there is no space and hundreds try to survive outside, you know, on the fields. They have set up their tents and they are exposed to cold and rain. Now, over the last days, we had the chance to speak with many refugees and they describe their lives as, you know, with one phrase, waiting in line. I mean, in order to get breakfast, you need to wait in line for three hours and the same for lunch and dinner. So basically, 10 hours per day, just waiting to get some food. If we talk about doctors, you need days before you see a doctor. If we talk about your asylum case, you need a month before you get your first uh, interview. And uh, we've done stories about tents, blankets who are not enough, about uh, filthy toilets. So the situation is dramatic, I would say. It's not good at all. Uh, and we should always bear in mind that right now kids play in dust. In a month from now, in a month and a half, kids will play in mud because it will rain. So everyone here is exposed to cold and rain. Uh, now, Apostles, the government is saying that they're going to move about 2,000 people out of Lesbos. Will this help the situation? Now, the situation um, will improve if the government insists. The government says that they will move 2,000 till the end of the month and 2,000 uh, refugees in October. So yes, 4,000 refugees, that would make a difference. However, there is an issue. We have new arrivals every day. Up to 100 refugees, sometimes 150, come to Lesbos, Chios and Samos on the three islands of the North Aegean Sea. That means those who come, those who come will replace those who leave. So it's a deadlock. And the government trying to send a message that we are working to improve living conditions on Moria and also a message to refugees. Be patient, you won't stay here forever, but give us some time, you will eventually leave the island.